Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning back in. Today I wanna to talk about a bait that gets a ton of exposure, but it, it truly doesn't get the exposure that it deserves, in my opinion. And uh, before I get into it, I just wanna remind you, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. If you subscribe to the channel, it gets you entered into my monthly prize drawings for different prizes I, su I supply for my sponsors, whether that's Bridgeford beef jerky, uh, when I say jerky, it's a box of jerky. Uh, you know, it could be an Abu Garcia reel, it could be Berkeley baits, dirty jigs baits, you name it. I've, I've given it away at this point. Uh, so subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Also guys, if you're looking to buy tackle, go into my description, click on the uh, link that takes you to the reel shot. It's a tackle shop that has a great selection of baits has a lot of stuff that's really hard to find at the moment that you can't get from other online retailers they have great service great shipping uh, prices are great and if you use the code stefan10 at checkout you get 10 percent off your order so it helps me out a little bit you save a little money and it supports a you know a small local tackle shop when you compare it to some of the other big box stores so therealshot.com. Check it out, guys, if you haven't done so already. They carry the baits that I'm talking about today. I don't know that they have any in stock right now, but they get them quite a bit because it is a really big player uh, in the Great Lakes area, so they get a ton of these baits in. <clears throat> All right, so what's the bait I want to talk about today? The Berkeley, you can see right here. You guys know what this is? Anybody, anybody? I'm not hearing anyone. It's the Max Scent Flatworm. This thing is absolute dynamite gold in the smallmouth world. I think most of you guys have probably heard about it at this point. You can't find them really on the shelves anywhere because they continuously get sold out. I feel like they're sold out for the next year. Uh, a ton of major professional level tournaments have been won on this bait. And it just it just catches them. I you know I, this so here's a here's a one out of the pack. You know it's a small little bait bait shot uh, bait fish profile, and it's just a really unintimidating bait to the fish. And it's made with that max scent material, whatever that consists of. I have no idea, but the fish love it. And here's why I say I think it's underutilized because right now it's considered smallmouth gold. Guys, I'm here to tell you, I catch a ton of largemouth and a ton of spotted bass on this bait as well. And I fish it a little bit differently than what you'd think. You know, in the, in the smallmouth world, and what you've heard about with this bait is most likely to fish it on a drop shot rig. So you nose hook it, you know, you've got your drop shot, bait suspends out this way, and that's how you hear about guys fishing it. And the drop shot is an absolutely phenomenal bait way to fish it. I mean, this bait was made for the drop shot. It is killer. It's the number one way to fish it, but it's not the only way to fish it. I've got two other ways that I've been really successful fishing this bait. The first is just to take a small, a small jig head and just hook it through the nose like you would if you were fishing a, uh, a shaky head. Slide it up over, and there you go. So now you've got just a, like a finesse size shaky head that works really, really good on high pressured bodies of water. Uh, it works great on bedding fish, but just all around works really good. You know, I, I caught a ton of fish uh, flipping, uh, skipping docks with this, just, you know, with a really light jig head like this. I think this is a 16th ounce. And just let it pendulum down through those docks. And I was catching a ton of spotted bass uh, at Smith Lake on it. And then I've caught a ton of largemouth doing that same thing. But you can fish this just like you would any other shaky head. Throw it up to the bank and slow work it back. And it's such a small little profile that you catch a ton of fish on it. But you will catch a big one on it at the same time too. So that's, that's one way I like to fish it. Or the, one of the two ways. The other way is I like to take the same drop shot hook, but I like to fish it in a Nako style way. So I'll take it and I'll hook it right in the middle 
and then I'll take a small tungsten, this is a 16th ounce, and I'll go right into the head. And I'll push it up in there. And I, I like to leave my tungsten weights slightly exposed, if you can see that, because I like that the tip of that weight to be hitting the rocks. It makes a little clacking sound. I've got videos on that you can search out, but there it is. I like to fish that, you know, as in, uh, in a NACO style way, you know, it's a wacky rig with a weight, but this allows me to get a little deeper, a little faster. It falls really good. That 16th ounce weight really gets the bait down. When it falls, it falls straight down like that, gets you to the bottom. And then when you're on the bottom, you know, you're working it like a wacky rig but it's down on the bottom. This is an absolutely killer way as well for smallmouth, spotted bass, and largemouth guys. It's not just the smallmouth bait. I, you know, I truly believe that the material is a huge factor to this because I've got, you know, like I use the Maxent Berkeley General, which is a stick worm, the creature hog. I mean, basically anything that comes in the Maxent material, I feel like is a really, really good bait. And I think there's something to be said about the max scent material. Now, yes, the flatworm is a great shape, a great mineral profile. It's really unintimidating to the fish, which makes them more willing to bite it. And it's a finesse presentation. And, you know, it's been proven at this point to catch a ton of fish. So I don't think there's any questioning that. I just feel like this bait is underutilized, uh, from the standpoint that people really are only using it as a drop shot bait. And it's not that, it really isn't that. I can assure you, if you rig it in this NACO style, rig it on a small um, jig head like that, you'll catch a ton of fish on it, guys. So I recommend heading out to the lake. If you can find some Maxent Berkeley flatworms, snatch them up, buy them, buy them all if you can find them, uh, and head out to the lake. Now, in terms of colors, you know, in this case, this is the brown back. You can see it. That's one of my favorites. It's got kind of a light brownish kind of watermelon back, middle, middle color with a white belly. That's a good one. Green pumpkin's a good one. Uh, this is, I believe, mango magic. That's a good one. That's got some purple and uh, gold flake in it. It, honestly, guys, I think the bait's made in like eight or ten colors. I do not know of one color that's unproductive. I mean, they're all really natural looking colors. So it really just comes down to whether or not you can find them. If you can find them, you got to get yourself a couple of bags. Give it a try. Don't just drop shot it. Head out to the lake. Try one of these other options. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Share it on your social media pages. Stay tuned. We got videos coming out every day. Thanks for watching.